Hello there everybody, my name is Coach Chad Oxtable, Bolt Bill for Three Point News and welcome to the very first episode of a brand new series here on the channel. It is the Social Media Lounge. Now, beware, we have another one coming. Uh, now I'm going to give more time, like another week or so, for you guys to send them in on Instagram. The link's in the description below as always. Uh, and that is the Alton Towers Model My Maps for the 40th anniversary. Now you can use the website link, I'll link that in the description down below as well. Uh, and you can model your map and send your map variations on Instagram. Message them on Instagram. I've got a couple sent in already. I've put the word out on Instagram, so I'll put the word out co consistently uh, throughout the week. So you guys get constantly noticed to do it. Um, so yeah, we're going to do one on that. But this is the very first episode of Social Media Lines. This is a, a special place where I can interact with you guys. So today's episode is all about uh, Alton Towers uh, with their 40th anniversary celebrations. World of David Williams and Gangster Grind of the Ride, thoughts and opinions, all happening in 2020. Now, you guys have been commenting on the community post, you've been commenting uh, down below in the videos as well, uh, about Gangster Grind of the Ride, the World of David Williams, and of course the 40th anniversary celebration. So, I've gathered around 9, nine to 10 comments uh, from all of them. Uh, that's sort of you know how much is technically thoughts and opinions. If yours didn't make it on here, do not worry. Comment yours down below, uh, and I will screenshot them and do a part two if you want me to do a part two on this. Uh, so let's get straight into this. So please like, comment, subscribe, and click notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media. And also, guys, make sure you. Uh, subscribe, make sure you uh, get your comments in and you make sure you get your questions in as well because we're nearly halfway to hitting 1,500 subscribers. Uh, so get your questions in and the, the Q&A will be released a couple of weeks after uh, we hit that milestone. So uh, make sure you get your questions in for the Q&A if you haven't already. Let's get into the social media lounge then. So question number, or, or I should say thoughts and opinions, number one. Uh, so, the very first uh, participation in the Social Media Lounge series is a comment on the community post that I did from British Big M. Now, he says, I think they should retheme the Cuckoo Cars Driving School to the Mobility Scooter Rally. Ben and Granny said they were going to. Uh, I think that's a very good uh, idea, uh, British Big M. Uh, I think that... That's a good thing to go for. Obviously, we don't know exactly what's going to happen with the driving school or the theatre. Um, now, I did get... I was speaking with the press at Alton Towers. Uh, I'm not going to say uh, whether they are going to release any extra information or not, but uh, I, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but there could be something. There might not, there might be. There might be, there might not be. We don't know yet. But... I'd be very excited if there is something because the driving school obviously it would sit very it'd be like a duck out of water it would be very singled out if it wasn't rethemed same with the theatre as well especially since it's inside the whole area so I'm hoping both things get rethemed but we'll just have to hope with that one so thank you very much for your comment British Big M next up another huge fan of the channel George Costi underscore Richmond or Rickman can't remember how it's pronounced he says, I absolutely love Gangster Granny. I might be 20 years old now, but I still adore all the David Williams books. Don't you worry, mate. I'm nearly 20, and I adore them. Um, the world of David Williams is like a dream come true for me. I can't wait to see what Raj's shop looks like in real life. I'm really excited for that as well. Raj's shop is going to be a, an interesting addition to uh, the whole themed area of the park. I think that uh, Raj's shop is definitely going to be a nicely themed section of the park. And I think that um, it's going to really incorporate the rest of the area together. Uh, so thank you very much for your comment, George. Uh, big fan of the channel. Always loves commenting on the videos. Next up, Theme Park Kieran says, I think if it goes down well, they can do a major overhaul of Jewel in a few years. So all the effects work and update and add more effects and set pieces. I completely agree with you. Now, Jewel, if you didn't know already, for those of you who are on the outside of it and don't know the ins and outs of Alton Towers and not, not the die-hard fans of the park, Jewel is a shooting dart ride. It was normally a haunted house dart ride, known as the haunted house, uh, from 
uh, the early 90s and it ran right up until uh, 2002 and then of course 2003 came along and it became known as Jewel the Haunted House Strikes Back with the new laser guns added to the ride. In recent years the effects started to break, the trommel's not worked for a couple of years now uh, and it started to sort of become a bit raw run down so I think Jewel could be the very next uh, attraction to get a whole major overhaul. We know Galactica, the overhaul of air, um, we know CBeebies Land, the overhaul of the old McDonald's farmyard area, Clarkukulam being overhauled into the world of David Williams. So there's real potential that Jewel could be next in the next few years. So uh, we'll have to see with that one. But thank you very much for your comment, Theme Park Kieran. Coaster Stuff says, great video. Uh, that was one of the uh, World David Williams uh, news updates. I think that this ride will be... Uh, it's going to it's the Gangster Grand of the Ride one. Sorry. Uh, so Coaster Stuff says... Great video. I really think that this ride was brilliant. One of the, in brackets, if not the best dark rides in the UK. I completely agree with you. I think seeing the finishing touch in that ITV report uh, definitely gives me high expectations for this. And I think that this is going to be a fantastic addition to the park. I think that this is going to be a brilliant looking addition. I think that uh, the park are going to do a fantastic job with this. They're already doing a fantastic job with this. Obviously we now know it opens on Saturday March 21st. It will be open for the opening day of the season. Uh, so I cannot wait for it. I really really can't. So thank you very much for your comment. Theme Park Global. Uh, now he does... Um, like he built, he built his own back. Well, he built his own backyard roller coaster. So I really su suggest watching those videos. He says, "Nice update. Garmendale would seem likely as they built the Go Jets and have provided the air gates for all Walton Towers coasters. If you don't know what Garmendale is, they are the manufacturers for Gangster Grand of the Ride. Uh, and like he said, there is a manufacturer of the Go Jetters ride and CPB's Land for 2017. The Go Jetters Roomster Zoomster ride, um, and of course they provide the air gates for Alton Towers coasters. So, you know." It's, I, I do think it seemed likely that that would be the manufacturer. I know there was a lot of talk of possibly having Matt Rides involved, but I think that Garmendale is the right choice in my opinion. So, thank you very much for your comment, Theme Park Global. Suzanne Cohen says, I doubt that Oktoberfest will be in the courtyard because of Scarefest construction. That is an interesting point to take on where this could be located. Obviously, we reported uh, a few days ago about this Alton Towers Oktoberfest, this brand new event coming to the park for 2020. And we were sort of guessing where it could go. I was guessing things like the corporate hospitality suite, uh, tent that's sort of next to Spinball Wizard, the front lawns of the towers, like at the bottom of Tower Street, on the front lawn looking at the towers uh, in the distance. And I also suggested the courtyard in Mutiny Bay. Now that is a good point to take. If Darkest Depths is returning, and you've got to remember, this is, this. Oktoberfest is ending sort of a couple of days before Scarefest starts, so uh, or just or just before Scarefest starts. So, you know, is if Darkest Depths is coming back, then we won't be having it in the courtyard. So I think the two main locations we're looking at here for this Oktoberfest event, the main sort of beer hall, I guess, the beer tent, uh, or the Bavaria themed tent. Uh, with the food stalls next to it. I think it would be the front lawns at the bottom of Tower Street overlooking the towers, or it could be, in fact, the corporate hospitality tent next to Spinball Wizard, and then just have it all going down the pathway like Freak Show did on the pathway between Spinball Wizard and X Sector. Uh, they could do some nice food stalls down that path and make it a themed Bavaria Street, maybe. Maybe cut that shortcut off around August and then get it all themed up ready for Oktoberfest so as you're walking from Spoonball Wizard to X Sector you can sort of walk down past all these Bavaria themed stores and go down this Bavaria street uh, so it would be kind of cool so thank you very much for your comments Suzanne, Suzanne Cohen uh, loves commenting on the videos and that is an interesting point to take so thank you very much Suzanne moving on to Coaster Stuff again saying can't wait for this season hope they make the whole part look nice for Oktoberfest Completely agree. I think they will do a great job to make the park look good for Oktoberfest, and I think that this is a no-brainer. So thank you very much, Coaster Stuff. Ethan Brown says, "I'm very a, a very weird event. Sounds like Bush Gardens Halloween, not an Alton Towers one." Uh, so again, very nice, interesting comment. I think this is something that Bush Gardens Williamsburg would do, not something that Alton Towers would do. But I think Alton Towers again, like you know, I think all of us agree that Alton Towers will pull this off uh, greatly. So. Thank you very much for your comment, Ethan Brown. Yes, it does look like something that Bush Gardens Wimbo would do. On Instagram, 
uh, Josh Perry, aka Thought Park Discussions on Instagram, said, I think it'll be perfect for families and their events will appeal to all. They're really trying to make the park into a park for all the family. Completely agree there. Uh, make sure you go subscribe to his Instagram as well. Thought Park Discussions, you'll see it. Um, I do agree with that. I think that this is going to be a perfect uh, year. It's going to be, they're really trying to round up the park. They're making it into a more themed experience than it already is. So I think the Alton Towers are really going along the, uh, the worldwide competition route rather than just the UK and European uh, markets. So I think the Alton Towers are going to do a fantastic job with these events and the brand new Dart Ride. Thank you very much for your comment on Instagram. Finally, Sam Barwell says, I predict a, sec I predict a second part to the World Denver Williams in 2021 or 2022. I completely agree with that again. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, I think World Denver Williams could be having a second part. It would be nice. I think if there was to be a second part, I think we should be seeing something, hopefully, uh, in Twilling Toadstool's site and then possibly the year after, do like a phase three, like a final phase. Um, or do it at the same time as a as a ride in Twilling Toadstool site and actually have like um, potentially a a new dart ride sort of themed around uh, another David Williams character in the, the dungeon building. I think many people are saying that the Alton Towers dungeon might not be a long term thing. Just fill it in for a few years while they sort of come up with big future plans for long term plans for that site. So um, I think. I'll tell you what though, if the Dungeons is a short term uh, investment for that site until we get long term plans for the World David Williams site, I do believe personally uh, that that was a good decision. Uh, I think a lot of people were sceptical with the Alton Towers Dungeon at first, but you know, after riding it myself and experiencing it myself, and I know a lot of people have said the same as well, I think the Dungeon has been a great investment in 2019. And I think if it was only to last a couple of years, I'm glad to have got the credit. Like Nemesis of Terror, that only lasted about three, four years, you know, and I'm glad I got the credit because, you know, I got it in its opening year, I got it in 2013, 2014, 2015, before it, and then before it closed as well. So, you know, I, 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 I was just really happy to have got the credit before it closed for good. So, um, yeah, very exciting there. And I think that's what we're looking at here for a phase two, if there was to be a phase two. Uh, next year or the year after, uh, I think we're looking probably at a, a retheme of that dungeons building into something David Williams related, and then maybe a, a flat ride and twin toaster site, maybe like an air race or a, a sky fly or something themed to Grandpa's Great Escape, maybe one of those super air races uh, like Dead Double Dive Flying Machines at Six Flags Fiesta Texas that's opening uh, next year, uh, this year in 2020. So, you know. Um, you know, it, it's hard to sort of guess at this point what a phase two would be if there was to be a phase two, but I think with CB design growing year upon year upon year, uh, I think that World Day Williams can do exactly the same. So, um, yeah, very exciting stuff from that. There we go then, that was all your comments that I got. If there's, if there's more comments that you want me to uh, include in a social media lounge episode, if you want me to do a part two, include your comments down below. Comment down below if you want a part two for Alton Towers and the 40th anniversary celebrations and the brand new Dart Ride as well and your opinions on it. Use the Instagram link in the description down below. Comment your thoughts down below as well for a, uh, a mention on the social media lounge. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we've got another one coming uh, in a few weeks time, in a couple of weeks time. Give it time to get your maps in uh, and your map variations for the Model Mind map. Again, links in the description down below for that. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching the very first episode of the Social Media Lounge. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. For now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, Kit and the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.